so we're walking now because the taxi driver wouldn't take us. Marianne's already fallen over and cut her leg. Ow! Um. So it's seven o'clock in the morning. We are on the early bus from Limon to Sixola because we're off to Panama today. Yay! Yay! Country number 13. So last night we were invited back to Ronnie and Daphne's house for Daphne's birthday party. There was lots of dancing. Lots of partying. and we had an absolute great time mm. and uh, they were very very hospitable and so nice to mix in with the locals yeah today we are heading down the coastline of costa rica the journey is about two hours to yeah. Sixola. we've bought the tickets from limon then we cross the border into panama and then we have another four or five hours bus ride to the town of David. Although we're not sure how that's going to work out because we've never done it, but we'll, we'll share. Yeah, so border crossings, always exciting, unusual, and something different to see. So after a two hour bus ride, we have arrived in the village or town of Sixola and we are now going to find where the border with Panama is. How exciting. I know that it's in that direction because <laughs> the bus driver pointed. Uh, but yeah, this is really exciting. We've heard and seen mixed reviews on how you cross and what's happening. So we'll, we're gonna go and do it for ourselves and actually see um, how it works out. There you go, and it's hot. The sun is beating down on us. It's very um, hot. It's only about nine o'clock in the morning. And uh, yeah, on to Panama we go. So we're just following this lady who is taking us to um, the immigration where we can get our exit passport from Costa Rica. And we're just trying to beat the bus that's arrived behind us. So we've just got our passport stamps and the exit paperwork from Costa Rica from the uh, little booth there next to the uh, the border. And it was how much was it, my loveliness? It was uh, 10 uh, mil 400. For two of us, yeah. for your exit, for your exit please. So now uh, we are heading up to the border with Panama. We've just got the stamp in the immigration office from the Costa Rican side, the exit stamp, and now we're crossing over the bridge to Panama. Well, it's very hot, muy caliente, which is very, very hot. Uh, we've arrived in Panama, which is country number 13 for Tread the Globe. And uh, we're just queuing up at customs in Panama and then we're going to go and find out how to get a bus to uh, the town we're staying in, which is David. So we finished immigration um, as we've entered Panama and as you enter all these guys come and uh, hassle you to get a bus and a taxi to various, place, to various places and um, we've got one that's taking us for 20 US dollars to... Not really sure. Not really sure. Somewhere to get a bus to David. Um, the key. But there isn't really any any bus rides around here that we can see, so we're just going with it. Well, our first experience of kindness in Panama, uh, we were grouped up um, and taken to a taxi and explained that it would be ten dollars each to go to um, this place that the immigration people hadn't actually mentioned, so we were a little bit confused. Um, but once we got in the taxi with the actual driver of the cab, um, because it seems that there are little agents running around trying to grab people, um, I had a conversation with him and he very 
so I think US dollars are common over here. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're not actually sure how long the bus ride is. I think it's about four or five hours. I've been trying to tell Chris that he needs to chill <laughs> and just go over there. And I'm actually starting to think he might be right. A little bit more planning might be a little bit better. But it's fun because I'm practicing my Spanish. And so we've been on the road for six and a half hours since we got up this morning. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think we've got about another five or six hours to go. So we had a really interesting arrival here in David, the city in Panama, the where we're staying. We got off the, um, the bus and things didn't quite go according to plan. We had trouble getting a taxi. Um, for some reason, every taxi we went to didn't want to take us. Yeah, I think it's because the distance was so short, they didn't really want to hang around for a short fare. They were waiting for a big fare. Absolutely, and then so we decided to walk. Um, it was only about 20 minutes walk away from the station, but things didn't go quite according to plan. No, they didn't. <laughs> no, they didn't. So we're walking now because the taxi driver wouldn't take us. Marianne's already fallen over and cut her leg. Ow! And um, we didn't actually have any footage of the said incidents because one, the camera wasn't on, and two, um, the GoPro had run out of battery and I hadn't changed it and yeah. I was, we were loaded. Yeah, but I did photograph it to send to one of my sons to get loads of sympathy. So here's I the do. picture. Thank you very much. If you're squeamish, look away for three seconds now. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. We've spent our first couple of nights at the <clears throat> Airbnb here in David and with we've- With Tamara. With really Tamara, lovely. yeah, who just actually very kindly dropped us off to our new Airbnb, which we're in now. Yeah. Um, and blessing there is still aircon and a fan and a lovely desk to work on so we're going to stay here for a few days to allow marianne's leg time to heal it's official we are melting it's like seriously hot out here it must be mid 30s um so we are heading to find some food i've looked at the map and i looked at the map i still don't know where we are <laughs> It looks like it's about probably half a kilometre away, maybe a little bit more, to a supermarket, department store, and a few sort of foodie looking places. our faces in the supermarket cafe in fact it's a very good cheap uh, place to eat the cafes like that because we're kind of trying to save our money to do tours food tours or eat local food rather than uh, spending lots of money every day on different things so we're trying trying it to was good. it was nice it was really nice good. Uh, it cost about ten dollars but to be fair we had we probably had two meals worth because so what we had two yeah two cans of drinks each and um, two, two rice and chicken yeah. and a sandwich and a couple of snacks so yeah we've, we've, we've eaten our fill for yeah, the day. Yeah we are full. <laughs> but it's interesting um, from an impression perspective that they uh, everything's plastic over here. Yeah. 
they're using plastic plates plastic cutlery um the plastic thing hasn't quite hit this part of the world yet so the uh, the taxis in panama don't actually have um from what i understand meters inside them so it's always best to negotiate the prices before you get um into the into the taxis and as you're walking down the road you'll hear lots of people sort of horning at you um very often it's taxis horning to say do you need a ride um like that so it's nearly 5.45, no it's not, cut. Just when I thought over up, cut. We, um, we've spent a couple of days um, at our first A and B air cut. Ice drink, I'm getting in it. Shotgun The feeling would change